This is the first air gapped anti disassembly and anti tamper proof. It's rock hard. It would hurt. If, right, if my house was getting burgled and this was on the side, I'd love this at the person intruding in my house. It's rock hard. This is really cool as well. It's metal. It's quite cool. You know, rock hard. I'd quite comfortably chuck this out the window and I'm pretty sure it'll work. However, if I shook this, I'd probably be a little break. So. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to cryptocurrency and you'd like to learn more, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell button. Now, I smash the upload button three times a week. Hopefully, usually ten to. But I want to do a product review. This is the first time I've ever done it. So we're going to do the LPAL, which I'm now going to introduce to the screen because, boom, there it is, versus the Nano Ledger S. Okay. Reason why, this is my first ever review. These guys actually sent out this wallet to me. And I'm going to crack on with it. I'm just going to go for it. The email said, be honest. I'm going to be honest. I want to try and help. So I'm going to mark this on a few different elements. So first one is branding. Right? You need to sell it. You need to highlight where it is. Branding, website, all kinds of good stuff. Number two, build quality. Because this is quite important when I think about it. Very, very important. Build quality is awesome in this. I rate it highly. But I want to talk about it. I want to compare it to this. And third is usability. How easy is it to use for the average person? Is it simple? Is it not? Let's get into it. So, website. It needs work. The LPAL website is pretty dire. Not going to be beating around the bush. Because you have this product page, the LPAL Titanium, which is pretty cool. This page is good, right? However, once you get lost on the website, you get really lost and it's getting confusing. Now, they're all videos, they're all kind of cool, like little bits. This is a video here, obviously. But it does explain how it all works and it all works through an app and I'm going to get onto the app in a bit. But there's elements on this website that is a bit confusing. Obviously, you can use decentralized finance, that's pretty cool. But like I said, if you start getting lost on the website, it gets a bit confusing. So, guys change your website, make it easy because this is a problem. If you go to the home page, well, it looks a bit crap and it gets confusing. It's like, what product is this? What's this? What's this? I've got that, by the way. I'm going to explain that in a bit. Um, but yeah, it gets quite, you know, it doesn't look that neat compared to the other page. But now, if I go to this LPAL Titanium, we get to that one. If we go to the LPAL, we get this. It's an Amazon page. So I am a little bit confused, I'm not going to lie, um, but you guys ask for honesty. I've got this, this is pretty cool, I'm going to explain that in a bit, I haven't put any keys in there. But when you look at this, and you've got another page here, you know, I just don't get it. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. So work on the website, the website needs work, but when you look at this, the ledger, this is a problem. You've got comparing against this a very very simple slick website it tells you exactly how it is and it gives you the full information the technical dy dynamics of it in the spe specifications obviously you got verified reviews the there's no reviews on the LPAL website and obviously you got other products and other crypto assets you can look at and this gives you full assets and tells you exactly how things are it's quite hard to see on the LPAL what you get because I'm going to explain that when I get to the app in a bit why I say that but the fundamentals are the website needs work. Simple as that. that. That is my only big gripe with it, I'm going to be honest. So let's talk about <laughs> the build quality. Now, big problem you've got. Now, let me just go to the home, not that homepage. God, this homepage. There we go. This is the first air gapped anti disassembly and anti tamper proof. It's rock hard. It would hurt. If, right. If my house was getting burgled and this was on the side, I'd love this at the person intruding in my house. It's rock art. This is really cool as well. It's metal. It's quite cool. You know, rock I'd quite comfortably chuck this out the window and I'm pretty sure it'll work. However, if I shook this, I'd probably feel it'll break. So this wins massively on the amount of tamper proof and the build quality because my previous background before I was full-time in crypto was police. I was military police. 
and where you did a lot of operation security. And devices can be tampered with very, very quickly, and this is quite good. It's quite rock hard. If you put a tampered glass screen protector over this, you're pretty indestructible. I'm pretty certain that if my car ran over this, it would probably survive. It's that hard. So that's really, really good. However, I'm gonna be honest, there's some elements that I don't like about it because this magnetic thing on the bottom for the charging device, it's quite crap. <laughs> it doesn't really stick. So when you move it around, it just comes off like that. So, you know, there's a little bit of work, but the device is pretty cool. It does work. You can see here, this device is all touch screen. Now, it's all manned through your phone, which is kind of okay. So we're gonna talk about that bit in a second, but in terms of that usability, it's got a bigger screen, it's better build, it's rock hard, it's solid, I'd probably chuck this and hurt someone with it. But with the Nano Ledger S, the biggest downfall with this is plastic, right? It's also got a very, very small screen. We know that it's got a tiny little screen, two little buttons. That has full use of a full screen. This only has a bit of protector of a metal chassis, essentially around the edges of it. And if I stood on that or my dog ate it, I've lost it. With that, my dog wouldn't eat it. She probably wouldn't sit on it and break it, or I wouldn't break it. Like, I mean, it is absolutely rock hard. It is so hard, and there's no gaps at all. I'm pretty certain I could smash the living crap out of this, and I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of cool stuff with that. So that is a brand opportunity that's what should be marketed, that's what should be shown, and that should be really pushed. Because if you get into a house fire, or if, you know, something natural disaster happened, or you dropped it really, right, or you just completely broke it with use case, you haven't got a leg to stand on with this. Because in a house fire, that would melt, it's just plastic. You know, shit. Another thing as well to mention is a backup area. You've obviously got information. You've got your, 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 your private elements there to kind of get, get your keys back. Obviously information. But I mentioned it before. I'm going to get this up. You also get sent this, which is kind of cool. A bit of a device that is, you know, I want to put it on the screen so you can see it. And this, again, is rock hard. It's metal. I'd use this as a weapon as well. Sharp edges. You'd probably use it in prison. It's rock hard. Now... A great little device to put your keys in. You can keep it secure. And the idea with this is because it's all metal and even the elements within it, all metal kind of stuff, it's a lot harder to tamper with, break. And if you are caught in a house fire, you're probably more likely to see that than a piece of paper, obviously. So that's kind of the idea with that. So that's that showed. So in terms of that, it's quite good. It's different. It's kind of a gap in a market that I feel that is needed to be filled that yes there's private wallets and encrypted wallets yeah they really are quite good but you kind of snook it if something goes wrong if say for example a tornado goes through your house you're probably more likely gonna like this is gonna be destroyed in, in a second but with that you got a lot more chance of doing it but let's talk about the usability now so usability is kind of where ledger kind of comes into its own because it's all done on computers it's different types of people this here is really easy to use, very easy to use, superly easy to use, because it's all done on Ledger Live. It's obviously the new application that they've got. Let me just see if I can get it up so you can kind of see it. This is basically this. It's beautiful, and I love it to bits. I absolutely love it, right? I'm gonna be honest, I love the device. I love how easy and simple it is to use and how it supports everything and how you can manage your whole device in one place. The difference with the Elpo is, it's all done through this and your phone, not so much through your computer. So I don't know, it's a bit strange. I personally like to use my computer. This to me is dead. Like I literally just leave this with all my stuff on it and it's mine. I just leave it hidden away, hidden away. This however is a problem because, let me just load up the app just so you can see it. Now let me just put the recorder on it as well because the fundamentals are, you can put your call storage, obviously, in this device, and it's all easy to set up, very, very easy. All you do, you go to make an account on here, you set it up, and you sync it all together. Now, I can't record this, if I can get it up and running, there we go. So that's the app, okay? It's kind of easy, it's all touch screen. I've already shown you parts of that. Now, 
if you wanted to move stuff around, you have to sign for it, okay? So on the device, you've got obviously Bitcoin. You, you can transfer it onto the device and you can move it around from cold storage to probably a hot wallet if you make it up. Now, the biggest problem you've got is, right, what I found already, you need to sign for it. Now, when you are signing for stuff, you've got to put in your password. If you're out and about and you wanted to buy a coffee, how are you going to use it? Well, you can't because you've got to have this device with you. Would you be comfortable putting your cold wallet device in your pocket with your phone? I wouldn't be. What I would do, I'd use a Nano Ledger S, I'd move some Bitcoin or Ethereum, XRP, whatever, onto like a Coinbase account or a wallet that I can use on the go and use that and not have any worries. Whereas if you've got your whole cold wallet attached to this and you're taking it out and about with you, it's kind of risky because you could lose it. And if you're already signed in, then yeah, and people have your password, you kind of snook it really. So that's one big problem, but there is an that's an additional use case in a way that you can take it out and about with you and you can use it. There's also a camera on the back, which is kind of interesting. You can actually sync it up and pay with it using this device, putting all the details in. So usability, there's extra, okay? However, like I say, the Nano Ledger S, so that's where, you know, the usability comes in at a different rate. It's a lot more secure in the terms of it's away from your person. And also you've got the whole Nano Ledger S. So in terms of this app, now, you can add further coins onto it. You can get the full market information. Obviously, you can see it here. And you can get information to how to exchange, put it onto exchanges, um, how to do the decentralized finance, and the Binance Dex. Okay, now that's obviously quite good, quite handy. You can sync it all up very, very quickly on your device. That's a problem. The discover bit doesn't work. And obviously, you've got your whole details there. So in terms of usability, it's not bad. But... I personally, as an investor, I wouldn't want to be taken around this device much because I will feel quite vulnerable knowing that I've got quite a lot of information, or not so much information, but money on here, and I'll be using it. So that's that. But overall, right, it is quite easy to use. It doesn't take long to set up. It took about 10 minutes to set up. It was quite quick. It was quite painless. And for me, that's good. I like things that are simple, but what I will say is this. I think there's a long way to go to get this on the market fully. It needs a lot of like kind of, you know, it needs to push the element that it is tamper proof. That is the biggest draw of it. But, you know, that's my only gripe with it. But it is really simple to use. It is quite neat and tidy. I do like the look of it. But for me, it's just not my type of thing. If that makes sense, I would love to have a million of these just sitting in my house and just crawling over them because I think this is easier. It's a lot easier to conceal. Okay, I can put it on my bum. I'm not gonna, I'm joking. But you know, you can probably hide this away. It's small. It's also harder to get in because you've got a pin mechanism. It's also like just got a full range of information that you can access online and you can also access it on your phone. And you know it's safe because this is away from your person and it's fully encrypted. The difference with this is, what the biggest bug is with it, if you lose your device and they've got access to that and they find this, you're snookered. You gotta have separation. People could easily get your information off this through putting, you know, if they can see you in a shop buying with crypto and you're putting all kinds of stuff on this as well, it kind of leads you open to kind of, you know, attack. So honestly, if this is your sort of thing, I recommend it. But in terms of prices, just let's go over prices. It's $169 for you to buy this. Plus, you get, you know, if you wanted to add the bundle with that, you can for $29 for the, the, this, this thing here. Now, that's the difference. You are paying the premium for an anti-tamper-proof wallet, which you can hold in, you know, quite easily on your mobile, on the device itself. Very, very simple. Very, very simple to do. But... When you compare the prices to the Nano Ledger S, which is the basic kind of element of, you know, oh, that's the X, I don't want the X, I want the S. This one, it's £54. So there's total different in, like, what, say about $70. So literally half the price, more than half the price. So that's one big downside. But again, 
you are paying for a device that is anti-tamper proof that would survive a fire, that would survive someone squashing it or sitting on it or me kicking it around the house. That's the difference. But with this, this is a different type of wallet. This is a sort of wallet that you put stuff on, you access it when you need to, and you literally hide it away. So there you go. That is my honest opinion on the Titanium LPAL or Titan. Um, it is, honestly, build quality is really, really good. It is, and I cannot justify me saying otherwise <laughs> that it's not, because this would hurt. But what I will say is I think this is better as a proposition. It's better value, and you can also use this very, very easily from home. You can also use this very, very easily from home. But the biggest drawdown is the usability. Having to use your phone, having to use this to make payments is a big pain. It will be a pain and people will not like that. So that is why I don't like that. Also, branding. Websites need a bit of work. But other than that, it's not bad. So there you go. That's my first product review. If anyone does want me to completely destroy your product, I'm only joking. I will. But I want to be honest because... You know, for me, that is the only drawdown. That whole branding element, it's a bit confusing. It's quite hard to see. And even on this, like, bundle page here, I don't know where I want to go to. You know, I do not understand if I will go to Amazon, if I press Add to Cart. I just don't know. So, there you go.